You ready to film another exciting episode of Real Good at Doing Stuff? I can't wait. Got to be more exciting. I go. can't wait. Okay, good. There we go. Oh, oh, you, real, real, good. Right today on real good at doing stuff, we're going to talk about a couple things. First of all, like, subscribe, subscribe, comment, etc. If you like the channel, that's what makes this thing work, apparently. And sometimes I know I'm really super busy, but I try to kind of skim through the comments when I can. Sometimes I get out of hand, but I try to look at it to get uh, to kind of take the pulse of what you guys are interested in and what's working and what's not. Um, so, you know, if you feel like it, let me know down below. Um, second of all, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about this right now, but there are big changes coming to the H, E, and Ds, um, which will hopefully allow us to get much more done and, uh, do more things for more people. And... Uh, it's quite possible that at some point that may allow me to do more tuning and you tuning and all this type of thing as well, which would be, you know, interesting because this thing's growing uh, quite quite a bit. You guys apparently are uh, like the channel, so it's it's working. Um, another thing that you could comment about, um, some of you already have, but uh, merchandise. Are you interested in any of that? shirts hats whatever type of stuff what are you interested in would it be hed type merchandise would it be real good at doing stuff merchandise whatever let me know um what you think um now uh today i thought we'd talk a little bit about pro professional tuners super tuners uh you tuners <laughs> whatever um and uh talk about whether or not you need one of these uh, that's really a question that you kind of got to ask yourself. And to me, I think it boils down to what kind of person you are, what you're, what you're looking to get out of drag racing, right? Whatever type of drag racing it is, whether it's radial, no prep, top fuel, whatever, you know, um, it just kind of depends on the type of individual that you are, uh, as far as whether or not you might be, you might, uh, be interested in hiring a tuner of some sort to help out your program. Um, I was kind of spoken a little bit about this before. I think there's, there's a couple different types of drag racers, but, uh, if you're interested in it because you like to learn and try to figure something out, um, such as myself, really, that's why I'm here today talking about this is because I like to, uh, Everything's a big puzzle, big mystery to me, and I like to figure out how it works, how the car works, this, that, and the other. Then you may not be interested in in, uh, in hiring some kind of a tuner because you like to do it yourself. You like to understand it and get a grasp of it on your own terms. You know, like I say, I'm 100% guilty of this. This is how I operate. Um, so if you're that type of person, you might, you know, in some cases you might enjoy the beating your head against the wall, trying to figure stuff out, even if it's not the fastest path forward to develop a successful race car. Um, and that's totally okay. Like I say, if I were starting over, uh, I would probably, you know, tough it out and go it my own way. Um, again, you know, uh, when I started out, there was really no such thing that I knew of as a, at least a professional tuner, there wasn't really much that such a thing as a tuner in general, right? Uh, everybody just ran their own stuff and tried to figure it out. And, uh, you know, 
but over time, things really, really changed. And that's why uh, I think for the majority of drag racers, it is a good idea to hire or be involved in some way with a professional tuner of some sort. And the reason being is several things. One, if you're at least remotely serious at what you're trying, your hobby here, drag racing, or whatever you're trying to do with your program, you've invested a ton of money, generally. Um, most of you probably nod your head right now because that's just how it is. It's hard to do this without spending a lot of money, right? And, uh, you know, the more serious you are about it, the more you may be spending. Well, it's, it's common for... I see this all the time. People spend outrageous amounts of money on engines, chassis, uh, electronics, you name it, all the latest doodads to brag about, you know. And then when it comes time to put it all together, they go rushing to the racetrack and either you know, one of several things happens. One, if they're lucky, uh, they don't make much progress they just kind of struggle and have a tough go of it right um and because of that they're not getting their money's worth right they've spent all this money on this stuff and they, it, it underperforms right meanwhile other guys with the same or less stuff are streaking right by them you know uh in worst case scenarios and it's got quite common we see this um this uh lack of expertise results in tons of damaged parts be it engines cars egos whatever um you, you'll you'll and this comes from not only uh let's say not hiring somebody to help you but also hiring the wrong people to help you you know um in this industry there's a lot of you know uh talkers and uh sometimes uh sometimes these talkers talk themselves into jobs over their heads and Anyhow, you can end up with uh, a lot of this, you know, this expensive stuff that you bought in a big smoking pile, and nobody wants that, because if that happens a time or two, you're out, and your dreams of drag racing are dashed, um, and nobody wants to see that, so what I'm getting at is don't be that guy. Is a tuner expensive? Sure it is. Um, it, it can be, you know, um, but what's it, what's more expensive a bunch of burn up junk that won't run that you already spent a fortune on or paying somebody to help you out you know and as far as tutors go there's more than one way to look at this right like you can uh um you can hire a tuner to basically come in and run your program right and another thing i'm not looking for any more business in this regard right now when we make changes at HED and i can take more on Maybe then. Right now, I, I can't take on uh, a bunch more tuning work. I wish I could help you all out, but um, at some point, maybe you know, maybe I can. But right now is not the time. So I'm, this is not an advertisement. <laughs> um, but anyhow, what I'm getting at is, it's uh, you may hire a tuner to come in and just run your whole program, right? A lot of guys do this, and it works great. You know, you see a lot of very successful guys that run at the top of their fields and let's say whatever class LDR or RVW, whatever. And there's a, at some point there, or almost always there's some kind of tuner involved or some kind of drag racing expert who's helping out this deal. And that's um, a totally legitimate way to do it. And that may be best for you. Or you may say, all right, well, we got a new, new car here, new program. We're kind of green at this. Why don't we hire somebody to come in and uh, sort us out, get us going a little bit. Um, and to me, that's, uh, very legitimate. Um, you can do, you can do that and, uh, a, a competent tuner of whatever, um, level can come in and point you in the right direction and hopefully keep you from tearing up a bunch of stuff and get, get you to where, um, you can make some progress. Now, um, now you, if you're new at this, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll be able to learn a lot from this person. You know, they can show you, all right, well, this is stuff you need to know about the racetrack. That's one of the biggest things you need to kind of learn about, right? It's how does the state of the racetrack apply to what you're doing with the tune-up in the car or the changes you're making in the chassis or whatever. Um, a competent tuner can help you with this, so you learn from it over time, you know. Now, there's no substitute for experience. You know, you're going to have to do this for a long time before you really pick it up. 
Um, but a good tuner can help you in that regard. So I would definitely recommend it. Another thing about tuners, um, when why they're kind of almost impossible to, to avoid at this stage in the sport, right? When I started out a million years ago, um, the race cars were much simpler, right? Um, let's say that it, you know, my, most of the cars back then were carbureted, but let's say in the off chance that you were dealing with a fuel injected car, the fuel injection systems of the time were much less sophisticated. You know, let's say you had big stuff or, um, XFI or speed pro or DFI or whatever, back in the day, they weren't capable, capable of doing anywhere near what we're doing with them now, you know, and, uh, Therefore, you could master them relatively quickly. The wiring on these cars was much less sophisticated, and it probably didn't need to be as sophisticated back then. Well, fast forward to, you know, 2022, that's not the case anymore. Um, a lot of these race cars are just extremely complicated, and it's incredible what they can do when everything works together like it's supposed to. But a lot of times making that happen uh, requires... Uh, some expertise and uh, you know it it just re it requires a lot more expertise nowadays than it did back back in the day you know if you were going to get started today on a modern let's say you decide all right I want to build an X275 car or whatever and you're going to buy poly fuel injection and you know this that and the other there is a lot more to know about making all that stuff work together nowadays than there was back then right so that's another reason that you might really want to consider um, at, at minimum having somebody help you out to get started, you know. And then uh, also another aspect of this, let's say that, let's say that you've been doing this on your own for years and years. Um, you might get to a point where you're kind of, all right, well, we do adequate here, but I'd like to take it to the next level. All right, well, the same solution can apply. All right, well, let's bring in some kind of a, a super tuner type guy, right? And uh, let's let him take a look at our stuff. And, uh, and uh, you know, a lot of times I kind of consider myself working as a consultant, you know, because I'll, people hire me to come in and, and it's not like, all right, well, here, come in and run the laptop. It's, it's much different than that. A lot of times it's, I come in and I look at the whole deal. Why is this thing working? Why is it not working? Do we need to change the torque converter? What's this torque converter doing? Is the gearing right? Is the second gearing right in this transmission? You're looking at the whole, you know, the whole enchilada. And a, a competent tuner with their expertise can look at this whole big picture and say, all right, well, here's some changes you need to make. And nine times out of 10, the changes that I'm telling people to make really don't have much to do with the laptop. Um, they have to do with the race car itself, transmission, gearing, tires, who knows what, right? Um, but this is stuff that it requires a certain level of expertise to, to be able to spit out information that's helpful in this regard, you know, and don't feel, uh, don't feel stupid for asking for help in this, in this thing, you know, because they're, you know, most of, a lot of you guys are hobbyists and you do this in your spare time and, Sometimes it's helpful to have somebody who does this all day, every day, to take a look at your stuff. And it can be very well spent moolah, in my opinion. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments below. I think I kind of covered the basics of that. You know, I think uh, hiring a tuner can be good for just about anybody. But like I say, if if you're if you're in, in this to, to learn how... Uh, the physics of drag racing and just figures things out on your own. That's totally okay too. I'm with you. That's how I would do it, but I'm not, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm kind of weird in that regard. And that's definitely no matter how big your brain is, not the fastest way to the front. <laughs> I'll guarantee you that you're going to, no matter who you are, you're going to struggle, struggle, struggle for years at doing it like that. You know, um, now it can be rewarding and you may not care. You may, you may look like, you may like figuring out stuff, even if it means you come in last every weekend. That's totally okay. But um, like I say, this just comes down to what type of person you are and what you're looking to get out of this. If you're trying to maximize your investment and run up the front, um, hire a tuner.
in my opinion. At least at least part time to take a look at things and, and move forward. Anywho, that's enough for today of this bull mess. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below if you care to at all. And uh, we'll talk again in a few days about some more stuff. Such strange times we're living in Such strange times